What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mayhem Matthew. College football is back and back better than ever. I understand I did not get to make any videos about week zero, but we will talk about that right now, and then we'll talk about the game that just happened, Florida versus Utah. Florida absolutely gets humiliated uh, by the Utah Utes. And uh, we'll talk about that later in this video as well. Uh, but to start off, week zero, Hawaii versus Vanderbilt. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm not surprised that Vandy kept it close with Hawaii. Remember last year? If anybody remembers, let me know down in the comments. Pause the video right now and let me know down in the comments what you remember about Hawaii last year. Uh, but... Hawaii's head coach quit on them pretty much right before that game. Uh, it was either the week before or the week of the Vanderbilt game, and the head coach said, peace, I'm out. Uh, so uh, with that being said, um, there could have been a lot of culture issues at Hawaii. I'm not saying that there was culture issues. I'm just saying that there could have been a lot of problems in the background of uh, that football team. Um, this year, um, they have a whole off season with a brand new head coach, a lot of motivation for the, uh, Hawaii, uh, rainbow warriors. Um, not surprised that they kept it close with Vandy, to be honest with you. Um, so with that being said, not surprised by that game. Um, Southern Cal still has no defense. They face San Jose state, um, and San Jose put 28 points on their head. Um, not surprised that Southern Cal put up 56 points. Obviously, Southern Cal, Lincoln Riley offense um, is just amazing, right? Uh, so there's nothing to be really said about uh, Southern Cal versus San Jose State, except for we, we know that uh, Lincoln Riley still don't have a defense. Um, and, and Lincoln Riley always had this amazing offense that can put up a lot of points. So that's kind of the short and skinny on that one. Um, Notre Dame looked very good. Um, kind of surprised me. Um, you know, they took care of business, um, as they should have, but, uh, like Sam Hartman, uh, overreactions, you know, Sam Hartman for Heisman, whatever. I'm not ready to say that. I think Sam Hartman looked extremely good. Um, but I'm not ready to uh, overreact and say Sam Hartman for Heisman or what whatnot. But, yes, he looked extremely well um, with his Notre Dame team. Notre Dame is, I'm going to be honest, Notre Dame's a top 15 team uh, right now. I know we haven't seen everybody else play, but... Uh, you know, my overreaction to that is they looked really good. They looked like they had a lot of momentum coming from last year's bowl win over South Carolina, and they're carrying it over to this year. So that's kind of my thoughts on the Notre Dame game. As far as uh, week one games, which started today, uh, Missouri beat their opponent, um, I believe it was like 35 to 10. Um, no surprise there. And then, um, no surprise UCF beats, uh, Kent state 56 to six. Um, they're trying to send a message to the big 12. Hey, we're a power five team. Now we play like power five now. Um, so get ready for us. So let me know down in the comment, what you think, uh, UCF's record is going to be for in the big 12 this year. Um, uh, they did. They did good. They took care of business versus old Kent State. So, um, my thoughts on Florida versus Utah. Florida fans, do not celebrate a loss. Do not celebrate a loss. And Utah fans, do not celebrate this win either. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say about this game. Florida fans, don't celebrate a loss. Oh, we only lost by a couple of scores. Utah fans, don't celebrate this win. 
Uh, Florida played sloppy the whole game, uh, only scoring 11 points. I feel like Utah came out uh, in the first half extremely motivated, uh, ready to pound and ground. They could throw it to whoever they wanted to, um, just control both sides of the lines of scrimmage. Uh, they could do whatever they wanted to Florida. Florida's defense and offensive line, absolutely terrible, absolutely booty. The only thing good about uh, Florida, which helped them towards the end of the game, was Ricky Pearsall and ETN. Uh, Graham Mertz is absolutely terrible. Um, nobody else on Florida's team is necessarily uh, good. Everybody's trash. Uh, Florida's not making a bowl game this year. I predicted Florida go five and seven. That's exactly what's going to go happen. Uh, they might go four and eight. Um, is Billy Napier on the hot seat already? I do not know that. I'm not going to say yes to that answer. Um, but come on, Florida fans. You cannot be celebrating a loss here. You should have lost probably 45 to 10 or 11 or 45 to 3, really, uh, because um, there was a lot of overthrown passes, uh, wide open passes, and there was a lot of uh, dropped passes for touchdowns uh, on Utah's side. And Utah just played absolutely sorry in the second half. I felt like I was watching Florida versus Florida uh, there for a second during my live stream. I really, I was like, what's going on here? Uh, Florida just, uh, I mean, see, I said Florida. Utah literally just dropped the ball in the second half. What was going on? Yes, Utah still controlled both uh, lines of scrimmage there uh, the whole game, but and it was never in question if Florida could come back and win this game. But, I mean, towards the end of the game, Florida made a, a, a touchdown, and, and then uh, they were only down two scores, and we all know what happened. Utah wins 24-11. to 11. Uh, So... My thoughts is that, uh, well, Utah fans can, should not celebrate this win. Both played terrible, um, and that's it. So if you like this content, smash the thumbs up. And if you really like this content, hit the subscribe button.